So today I'm going to experiment with my grip. I'm looking for something that will give me a clean trigger break without upsetting the sight picture. Uh, something that will give me good consistency and neutrality in terms of that rise and fall of that front sight. I want to keep my, uh, I want to establish my sight picture, fire, and after recoil I want the gun to return to zero rather than having to hunt around uh, for that sight picture again. I think that's probably the best improvement I could make uh, for my action shooting. I'm not going to get hung up on any one particular technique. I'm just going to kind of experiment from string to string and just observe the results. Uh, this works, this doesn't work. Uh, I want to work. I want to try and uh, move more in this direction. And that's how you develop your own technique. It isn't a Chapman or a Weaver or a Sosley's, it's your technique. And uh, that's the way it should be done. I hope this uh, gives you something to think about. Let's head out. You'll want to be careful so you don't trip over all my junk here on the stairs. So before I even start wasting ammo downrange, I can tell if everything is cool with my grip and my sight picture when the trigger breaks. Okay, after a bit of dry fire, I'm ready to go hot and I'm just going to try to observe what's happening with the gun uh, from a lot of different aspects. Um, I'm also I'm not only going to change my grip slightly. I'm also going to change the amount of the amount of uh, muscle tension. You know, every everybody says you got to grab it hard, 60, 40, all that stuff. I'm going to try not worrying about the gun rolling so much as long as the sights come back on target. I want to see how much difference that makes for consistency. All right, with the gun as low into my hand as possible. The gun fully wrapped, thumbs not touching the slide or the frame. We'll see how this goes. Alright, I've noticed that the gun, when I don't hang on tight, the thing wants to kind of yaw over to the right under recoil. So that's an observation. I want to make a correction there. I'm going to have to shift the gun a little bit. Well, I have a really hard time hanging on to it loose like that. It, it's like it wants to go all over. This is starting to catch on now. It, it still feels very weird to me not having my support thumb up against something uh, solid. But that forces me to concentrate more on the actual grip, the frame grip. And I think that's what the pros do. I think that's important. So I'm going to keep working at it here. I'm using a little bit of a firmer grip now. Trying to find a compromise. I I can't limp wrist. I can't just I can't deviate that far from what I'm used to. I'll try and find the sweet spot here. You know, this might be getting boring for you. Uh, just to make things interesting, uh, my slide's warming up pretty good here. I'm gonna scoop it full of snow. I'll put it on this way so that stays in there. Okay, I just gotta take a look here and make sure I got nothing down in the chamber. All right, you can see the water dripping out. All right, 
let's see what happens. I'm not sure if this striker is going to work, the uh, firing pin. That works fine. I was getting hit in the face with spray while I was shooting. Let's uh, take a look and see what it looks like inside right now. Looks like I shot it clean. That's kind of neat. I didn't really think that was going to work. I was afraid the uh, firing pin wouldn't be able to travel with all that packed in there. Let's try it again. I can feel that when I pull it back, it's uh, sticky with all that snow in there. This method I'm using is actually starting to come together. I did have to uh, give it a little bit more tension on my grip, but I'm thinking about I'm not, I don't think I'm holding more with my support hand. I think I'm doing more of an even grip. Another benefit to uh, shooting like this in the winter is I'm learning how to shoot with really cold hands. I can't feel my fingertips anymore uh, from loading mags and uh, just having my hands in the snow. And maybe that kind of simulates uh, a stress environment a little bit when you lose manual dexterity. Right now I have no sight picture either. Not point shooting. No sights, there they go. Now I can see them. If you never brassed in the snow, you're not missing anything. I don't know how many of these are brass and how many are rabbit turds. It's pretty hard to tell them apart. What do you think? Up oh, before I go, I gotta try this with the baby Glock. Got 27. Dang it, can't end on a miss.